Assalamu alaikum my friends and learners of the software engineers world in previous lecture we have discussed about the overview of the java and uh, in this lecture i'm going further and further deep in java which is a next topic theoretical topic java buzzwords buzzwords means which are very common to use for to define java now we are going to discuss about java buzzwords which make it unique from other languages and uh, we define the fame and uh, it's important of java by their buzzwords number one simple java was designed to be easy for the professional programmers and learners if you have some experience in other programming language then you will find very easy to master java as we discussed earlier java gets some uh, some of their syntax from the c and object oriented uh, paradigm from the c++ so java java will be very much easy for the <coughs> programmers which uh, have some of experience in the other languages like uh, c and c++ but uh, it also for uh, easy for those who have some of experience in other programming language like python and uh, php as well java is easy for c and c++ programmers because java inherits syntax from those languages i hope this is this word simple is now clear to you let's go <coughs> object oriented as we discussed in the previous lecture java is a use object oriented model which where data works on code means uh, our variables and uh, other elements of program works on functions and uh, here another world uh, we also just in defining object oriented in java buzzwords java works on the paradigm everything is an object java only works on class and object model class object model is also common known as object oriented model so as we think as a java developer then we have everything as an object which extends their um, characteristics from their parent class and uh, super class the object model is java is a very simple to extend while primitive types such as integers are kept as high performance non objects means integers or variables also work as objects but high performance non objects there are elements of class in object oriented model java is easily to extend from their super class by just using keyword extend we will discuss in much detail extends keywords in next few uh, chapters after in the chapters note by discussions in chapter inheritance and class and objects multi threaded java was designed to be fulfill the real world requirements of the networked programmed by multi threading programming Java also fulfill the requirement of the double core processing where our uh, new or modern CPUs have the double cores which uh, works on multi cores or uh, so Java used to design the technique of multi threading means uh, design a program on uh, in multi thread environment so every thread can run on the individual core of CPU and uh, it will provide uh, much efficiency and speed to our program and uh, also we can use uh, resources available for for use in our pc our computer so this will make our program efficient and uh, more faster than older versions are c and c++ programming programming program java runtime 
systems comes with the elegant and sophisticated solution for the multi-core process synchronization. As I discuss here, Java used to take uh, use multi-threading to uh, as a solution of the using the available resources of multi-core processors. Then robust Java is a multi-programmed. Sorry, I am going for to study about of my presentation, so you can easily see what we are discussing. Robust Java is of multi multi-programmed environment language because Java programs are reliability in a variety of systems. As we discussed, Java is a cross pl cross platformed because of the, its interpreted code byte code. So Java is very reliable language so we because we can program one program and we can run it in any of software or any of platform which support JVM ability to create robust programs given high priority in the design of the Java Java restricts use restricts us in a very few areas of finding mistakes in early period of the development for the getting high reliability Java is a strictly type language, so it checks our code at compile time. So many of the runtime errors are impossible to do in Java. Java is also case sensitive and uh, type strictly type language, so because it uh, checks our code on the runtime, compile time, not runtime. So there might be logical errors in our code, but there can't uh, there can't be runtime errors which occurs in many of the other programming languages in like c and c plus plus and uh, in java uh, much of the <coughs> much of the runtime errors can be solved by the compiler but uh, some of the some of the errors like uh, multiply by zero and uh, much of like this errors will be handled by the exception handling and we will discuss all about exception handling in our future lectures what we written will behave in a predictable way in key feature of the java means java is uh, very similar to very high languages and uh, it used uh, the english languages as their syntax so what we are writing we can predict what we are writing and uh, java program will behave as we predict and or as we write to understand in better way that java is robust consider two reasons memory management exception handling memory management java allocates and deallocates of the resources to programs dynamically so we can avoid memory management mistakes and mishandle exception means uh, when we talk about the allocation java allocates automatically resources means uh, when we are creating objects the java allocates memory for those objects but uh, when we don't need for those objects in or we are not using those objects in our program java get them in the garbage in the garbage collection or uh, uh, delete them from the memory and release the resources so and uh, when we are creating much of the objects on the runtime there we don't want uh, <coughs> there we don't allow the memory manually to the program but it uh, get memory by java automatically when they it needs and uh, when our objects uh, are not in use they will go to the garbage collector and uh, will not used uh, will not use our memory resources which are available for which will be available for the other objects java provides garbage collection for the unused objects as we discussed here exception handling a uh, very little program Java program handles automatically exceptions like the driving division by zero and file not found etc by the help of the object oriented exception handling. 
Java has uh, the type of exception handling, object oriented model exception. Exception handling, so Java, if you, uh, if we, uh, our program is well written and uh, good program, so Java can also handle the automatically ex ex handling like uh, division by zero, as I discussed, it's an exception when we divide uh, any of the integer by the zero. So division can not be occurred by the zero to any any of entry literal so it can also be handled by the java it's a architecture neural neutral means are a cross platform both are same names java comes with the paradigm right once run anywhere anytime forever means as we discussed earlier we can write one program for multi multi platforms and uh, we do not change our program for uh, for using on any of the platform like uh, Mac or uh, Linux, Unix, Windows. If we write program on Windows, we can run our program on Linux, Unix in any of the platform which are available in this era. So a Java program paradigm is right once. And we have to write one program for one time and we can run it anywhere anytime forever means it will be highly reliable language means java is a highly reliable language the solution of the java provide guarantee to developers developers that their programs will work same as it is today java guaranteed us that our program will work as it is working today and it will work will forever as today it will never change next is interpreted and high performance as we discussed earlier java use multi-threading programming programming technique to use our uh, our double core cpu resources as efficiently and make programs to run faster java compile its code into the bytecode which can be run at any system who have JVM means uh, when we write one program we compile it just one time and uh, we don't need to compile it any of the platform which where we are where we want to uh, run it we just need JVM so our interpreted uh, intermediate interpreted bytecode can be run on that JVM for any of platform java code bytecode is interpreted program file who has no need to compile it again because of the bytecode java programs runs faster on any systems without compiling again as i discussed here distributed java is designed for distributed environment because support tcp ip protocol tcp ip we will <coughs> go to much detail in the programming means uh, java security programming and network programming it uh, we will discuss this is a suit of program suit of four layers we will discuss all of layers in our future lectures theoretical lectures they were all will be future lectures and uh, when we will discuss variables class objects we will also make a practical lectures of those so let's continue this java supports remote method innovation rmi which help us to invoke methods across networks when we use network programming java also uh, support rmi so we can invoke our methods or uh, we can say in functions for other languages as other languages refers functions as methods the methods in java we can invoke those in network also next is dynamic java programs carry some substantial information of the runtime which used to verify and resolve access to objects at runtime as we discussed earlier java we can make objects at runtime so java programs carry some important anime <coughs> information mm, with 
with their program so they can verify and resolve the access to the objects at runtime. time they can create objects they can control objects it means the program also have the information to control carries and uh, create and uh, resolve information <coughs> resolve information for the creation creation of the objects uh, deletion of the objects uh, of unknown objects and recreate to, to those objects also and also possible to link dynamically code in safe and expedient manner this is also a security <laughs> issue with the java not issue but uh, advantage there sorry this will our next lecture we will set the environment of java where we practic practice our code and this will be our next lecture so thanks for this and uh, i hope you enjoy this buzzwords of the java and uh, you are not uh, you are now understand how java is important and why should we learn and uh, how this is uh, java is very much important to create reliable and uh, fast applications uh, than other languages so thanks for watching please support me by subscribing and uh, watching the whole video on youtube not just download it so i know it's a idea mera so you just uh, copy the link and download that it's easy to see on system but uh, it will not help me out um, for for <coughs> by support me for the youtube progress so please support me by seeing this videos on youtube and uh, comment me if you have any of query thank you bye bye allah hafiz